Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got a Thursday matinee on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Minnesota Twins. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. The center fielder, Jaron. And a pitch. Duran. Got him looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Justin Turner now. That one ripped. And it hits the base of the wall. He was all over that one. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive, and it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. And yeah, the batter now, Masataka Yoshida. And here it comes. And he pumps it a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Rafael Devers up to hit. The pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Turner leads off first with two down to the inning. Sit down on strikes. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball. Bottom of the first. And now for the Twins, number 47. The second baseman, Edward Julian. Ripped into right center. And now maybe extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's into scoring position with a leadoff double. Maybe a chance for our first run here. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Now Correa up to hit. Now fly ball to right center. Duval has this one sized up. He makes the grab. Runner tags up for third. And he makes it up to third with one away. That is third. The first baseman, Alex Kirillov. Here's Alex Kirillov. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in one, full two. speed. Next pitch misses way outside. Lifted in the air, right center field. Duvall in position. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags from third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And it's 1-0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Whips it to Casas, and that ends the inning. Push across one run on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. And welcome back. New inning getting started and stepping in for Boston, Adam Duvall. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs the 1-1 one -one is fouled off swings and misses had him out front for strike three. Yeah, there's no doubt, Brug. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, 
but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. That's outside, wow. and it's two and two. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like he kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. The wind and the pitch. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Now here is Connor Wong. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. And a swing and a miss. Two down. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And stepping in is the speedy David Hamilton. And now 2-1. and one. Good eye right there. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Pablo Reyes on deck for Boston. 3-2 now. On the ground to the left. Whips it to Kirilov. Third out, and that ends the frame. And the Red Sox. Welcome back. Bottom half of inning number two. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler. Kepler. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a hit. That Here's good. Royce Lewis. The third baseman. Next one oh, misses, and it's two and one. Two, one. Kepler on at first. Nobody out. Runner on the goal. That's hard hit in the line. Yoshida makes the grab one away. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. The 2 1. Chop to third. Devers throws on to first, and that is out number two. This is Willie Castro. The left fielder. And that's downstairs and outside. Runner at second, two down. Good eye right there. Michael A. Taylor in the on deck circle. The 3 1. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. First and second, two down. Michael A. Taylor digs in now. And that one off the outside edge. Tough spot two right here, a couple One runners strike. on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Well, out there on the mound, he's got to go right after this hitter because you don't want to turn this lineup over. This is the guy that you've got to get that final out, get out of this what? inning. And now it's filled Look up. Down. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the chair. Back at target field. Lead top half of the third side. inning. And the batter the now, Pablo Reyes. Pablo. The 1-1. One -one. Reyes. Two. Two. 
just missed. It's a good take. That one down the line, and it stays fair. Now batting Jaron Duran. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Check on the runner, and he's back in on a dive. The 1 1. And it's just foul. That was close. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So now Turner in on that right side. And he's already singled in this game. And the righty deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Runner on the goal. That's it for a strike. Throw to second. See. Now it's going to be Masataka Yoshida. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Kicks and fires. No. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Red Sox with a chance to tie it up. And that is in for a strike. Full count, Full count now. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again. 3-2. Goes down looking. So one hit is all they get. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the Twins leadoff guy, number 47. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective the pitching is getting four. ahead in the count. And Just as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Still two and two after the foul ball. One down, base is empty. That one out to right. Duvall sizes this one up, puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. The first baseman, number 19. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Kirilov. Alex Kirilov. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Not even two close balls. there. Now two balls and a strike. Three and he takes a strike. 2-2 two, two now. Next Ball offering three. misses down and away. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Twins retired in short order, but they lead it one to none. As we go to the top of the fourth, here's Rafael Devers. The third baseman, Rafael Devers. Ball to strike, the pitch. Next Ball. offering is outside. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. On to first. One up, one down. Number Adam Duvall at the plate. Adam His first hit bat was Duvall. a strikeout. Righty delivers. Keeps the hit bat going with a foul ball. Next offering. Pop foul off to the right out of play. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. 
Kirilov in position. Puts it away for the out. Now batting Tristan Casas. One for one with a single so far. Casas. Next offering is in for a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The 1 1 is fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Lewis settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. Doing for Boston. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the Twins DH, Byron Buxton. Next pitch misses inside, two and one. Out front, rip foul. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Oh. And it's filled up. Look out. Hard ground ball base knock. Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Max Kepler at the plate. Picked up a base hit to center his first time off. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. And now, now it's going to be Royce Lewis. 0 for 1 so far. Snap throw to first. Buxton back in there. Buxton leads off first with one away. Knocks it down. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Ground ball right side could be two. Reyes over to second, and that's two. Nothing across on two hits. Back here at the ballpark, and here is Connor Wong. The pitch. High in the air, out to right. Kepler gets there. He's under it. And there's one down. So up next, David Hamilton. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a the ball. Strike two. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. And now the count filled up three and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a one. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Willie Castro. 
The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. One, and the count, one and two. Action in the pen down there. Nick Pavetta appears to be getting loose. Crawford warming up as well. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And he deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. They say it went. Lifted in the air, right field. Duvall gets under it, brings it in, two away down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. One ball, two strikes. That one two, missed. Two. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Nothing doing here for the Twins, but they're on top, 1-0. Back in Minnesota, all set for the start of the inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jaron Duran. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Now just about to hit that century mark, a hundred pitches for this game. In the air to left center, and that one hops the wall. Into second base, the tying run is on with a leadoff double. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Here's Justin Turner. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Rohal not in time. The run scores. It's 1-1. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much... Number 61 on the pitch here. And he's been fantastic this year. Really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. And now Masataka Yoshida. Turner gets his lead at first with nobody out. can't make the play lead runner to second so two on and nobody out there's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield that was ripped caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked but definitely put a good swing on it. a chance now to take the lead and at this point in the game that could be a deciding run Devers now righty to the plate that misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Emilio Pagan warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Number 87 getting cranked up as well. Ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. They won't test it here. Bases loaded, no outs. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. That one, 95 to finish him off. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And 
and now it's even up. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bull. Base is loaded, one away. Kicks and deals. This one rolled to Kirilov. On a second, they get one double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Caleb Ford is averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. And one and two. Well, these twins putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. No, nice no. job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next offering is down low. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. And he hits a ground ball right side, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. The pitch. And a swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Byron Buxton. Right-handed reliever. Pitches in there. That's strike two. And a ball oh, evens the count. Correa stands at first with one out. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. That misses the zone, and that's ball okay. three. Royce Lewis up next. And that's ball, ball four. four. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves now the go-ahead run into the scoring position. Down. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. At the belt and fires. That's, That's off the mark. Full count now. Okay. Ryan Jeffers to bat next. Hit weakly on the ground. Whips it to first on the run. Inning over. Two left on. Seventh inning. Top of inning number seven. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Connor Wong. Wong. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And the pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Line drive, caught. 
Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful the swing, but nice nothing you can do about Second the result. Base. Third baseman Pablo. are just used to handling hot Ruiz. shots like that. Ground ball, left side. Fair ball. Now that is. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And here is Jaron Duran. Next offering is down low. And a count two and one. late that time two and it's strike two. two I think he was sitting off speed there there's a swing and a drive it bangs off the wall in with a double and the go ahead runs at second with two out the tag and that's out number three inning over Trying to take the lead in the late going. Can't blame them, but the defense was having none of that. Close play at the dish. The tag applied just in time, and we'll push on. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now, Ryan Jeffers. The pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Duran calls it in, and there's one away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. That one inside, and that's ball two. Out towards right center, that's well struck. And that one is off the wall. The throw in. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Michael A. Taylor now at the plate. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go-ahead run at second now base, that. but second job's base. not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and yeah. get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. The 1-1 is fouled off. In the air, right side. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Twins wind up straight. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Number 53. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Turner climbs in on that right side. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Throws across the diamond. First out in the top of the eighth. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. One for three. The one, two. And that one is lifted in the air. Castro makes the catch for the second out. And here is Devers, known for his late inning heroics. And the two, two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Emilio Pagan is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Swung on, belted. Back there. And it's gone. Rafael Devers rounds the bases. His 18th home run of the season, and they jump out front. It's 2-1. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing.
The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Well, on the mound, this is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And the home team down. Chris Martin on to try and close it out for the Red Sox. Well, the best relievers You're love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Racing makes the catch. One away. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. And a pitch. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Kenley Jansen, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. The tying run at the plate. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And now it's three and two. The guy at the plate could yeah. recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. And that is that. Twins are set down one, two. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the first baseman, the first baseman. Tristan Casas. Tristan. And now the lefty. And that one hammered Castro going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now the catcher up to hit, Connor Wong. The wind of the pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any now better than that. Couldn't get any air up. under it, but he smoked that ball back Campbell. up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now here oh. is David Hamilton. <laughs> and the pitch. Good feed. That's oh. one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Pablo Reyes stands in. Second baseman, Pablo Reyes. The 1 1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one back there and out of here. An absolute blast to left. His first homer of the year, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-1. So impressive how he was able to go down and get this fastball, but yet get it up in the air, hit it far enough to get out of this ballpark. Emilio Pagan on a pitch out of the pen here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Digging in, Jaron Duran. Right side, hard hit. Whips it to Kirilov. And that is that. Two runs for Boston on the home run. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Henley Jansen into the game. Well, he's been a bit of a wild card out there in terms of throwing strikes. He's definitely Ladies struggled with free passes this year. Please. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 74. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Kenley Jansen's been one of the best closers we've seen over the course of the past decade. Chris, he's moved into the top 10 all time in saves. Here comes a pitch. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Kenley is also the Dodgers all time saves leader with an even 350. Two two. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. 
He's got it. And there's one away. Here's the third now baseman, that, Royce the Lewis. Third baseman. Make a big Royce. Lewis. And here it comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Smoked on the ground a second. Now only one out remaining. Here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. And a pitch. Ball. Two balls. One strike. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So digging in, Willie Castro. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. Here's a 1-1. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And that one is going to go. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they're chipping away. It's 4-3. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. He crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So up next for Minnesota, Michael A. Taylor. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Joe Jakes takes over on the mound. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. The count two and one to the right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.